hey everyone what's up so if you want to check for empty cells in VLOOKUP result you can combine the VLOOKUP function with the if function or is an a function or is number function so today in this video I am going to show you three different type of VLOOKUP combination that will help you to get an error free result whatever your lookup value is and whatever your search value contains right so in this example you can see here that if we search for the cpu the lookup value as cpu so the quantity is 2 and in all result we get cpu but if we add the user here it will show you the text or the numbers according to your lookup value so welcome back everyone on a new video of microsoft excel lookup series that is running into your favorite channel technical portal this is your host pritam and don't worry i'll give you the link of downloading this excel workbook into my description box so please check that so let me at first clear this sheet so that i can create these formulas in front of you so here is the database in a raw form right so in the item cell that is in e5 cell i am going to add the item value that is listed into this table and to list that into a data validation file we need to go to the data tab that is here then click on data validation then select the list from the allow tab and the as a source select this table right then click on ok you will get an down arrow here so that you do not need to type any value here so normal and the commonly used vlookup formula is like that you all know that equals to vlookup it is asking for the lookup value and our lookup value is located into e5 cell so select this one insert a comma now it is asking for a table array and the table array in my case is from b5 to c12 insert a comma again now it is asking for column index number and what we are searching for we are searching for the quantities so according to this table the column index number is number two so insert number two insert a comma now we are going to use the exact match function so we need to use number zero as the false option right so close the parentheses and hit enter you will get the result but the main problem of VLOOKUP is whenever the cell is blank or the result is blank like in this case of monitor if we select monitor as our value it will show you zero nothing else right or if the value is in text form it will show you only like that but what if you need only the numbers into your database right so if the text is here you will definitely get an error into your next formulas and another disadvantages is like that if you have any blank cell it will simply show you as zero so to prevent this zero from your database we are going to use the if function combined with vlookup function to do so we need to at first insert the equation symbol start the formula with if function as the logical test we need to use the vlookup function here and what is our lookup value our lookup value is located into the e5 cell insert a comma and it is asking for a table array and this is the same as before that is b5 to c12 insert a comma we are searching for the quantity value so according to this table the quantity into column number two so insert number two here comma now we are using here exact match function so use the zero close the parentheses now here is not over this is our logical test so we need to use an equation symbol again then insert or open inverted comma double inverted comma and close double inverted comma that means if the vlookup logic finds any empty string this means empty string right so this is our logical test right so if this finds any empty string here it will show that means value if true it will show an empty string right so here give an empty string again 
now insert a comma again now what if value is false so here we are going to use the vlookup function again so use the vlookup function here so the lookup value is located into e5 cell insert a comma this is our table array from b5 to c12 insert a comma again now we are searching for the quantity value so that's located into the second column insert a comma again we are searching for the zero or exact match option here so close the parentheses and hit the enter button look at here you actually get a blank cell whenever the cell is blank look at here so the formula is actually working perfectly but the disadvantage of this formula is if you have any value like the user that is in the text form it will show you this formula again right it will show you the result as a text form into your function right but you need a number form into your database so that the next formulas should not get any errors right to do so we are going to use the is number and the if function into the vlookup function so how to do this use the equation symbol then insert if function here now as a logical test we are going to use the is number function here right so this is number function will search for if the search value is a number it will show as a number right so in the is number function insert the vlookup function again now it is asking for lookup value where is our lookup value located that is into the e5 cell insert a comma now this is our table array from b5 to c12 again insert a comma we are searching for the quantity so column number two comma zero as we are searching for the exact match option here close the parentheses for the two time so that the vlookup function actually closes its entry now insert a comma again now it is asking for value if true so if the value is a number what it will show you is again we are searching for a vlookup value so use the vlookup here it is asking for lookup value that is into e5 cell comma again the table array from b5 to c12 comma 2 as our column index number and 0 as the exact match so this will be our result if the value is true that means if the value is a number it will show you the number insert a comma again now what if the value is not a number it will simply show you an empty string that means a blank cell using the double inverted comma twice right close the bracket and hit the enter button look at here it is showing nothing as your value is into text form right so if the value is into a number form it will show you a number if the value is blank it will show you simply blank so depending on your needs you can expand the idea above to run more specific test you can do it manually or yourself right so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video i will come back soon with another interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing